Hi, and welcome to our activity of daily living workout number five for the month of February. So this is our intermediate level workout. So a couple of reminders, make sure you've done your mobilities for the month of February. All right. If you haven't just press pause here, go back, do your mobilities, come back here and join us. Second thing is we sort of have the workout broken out into two sections. The first is a superset. We're going between two different exercises, a row and a press. And we're going to superset that for sets of 9, 12, and 15. And then we're going to go into some fun, higher intensity resistance training, metabolic conditioning, and make things really burn, but feel really good and get a really good benefit. Okay. So we're not going to need a whole lot of equipment. So for those first two exercises, we're going to be doing a half kneeling single arm row and then turning around and doing a half kneeling single arm press. So you're just going to need something to kneel on. So I have my um, air X pad, but you can use a blanket, a towel, anything you need, pillow, something just to make it a little bit more comfortable to kneel. And then we're going to use our, I like to use my medium band for most things and my angles 90 handle. You can just do this with the band itself, but it's just not going to be nearly as comfortable. Okay. The angles 90 handle conforms to your grip. It's great. If you've got arthritis, it's a lot more comfortable. Um, it takes up more space in your hand. It's ergonomically um, designed. So if you don't have one, no worries. You can still do all these exercises. This just makes it a little bit more comfortable. All right. So then we're going to need a, um, one of your stretchy mini bands to do some no monies with. We're going to need um, another band to go around your legs to do a standing single leg abduction. So you can either use the stretchy one with the grippies in it, or you can use the same one you're doing your no monies with. It's personal preference. It's also what you happen to have on hand. We're going to need a box or a bench or a step, something to step up on. And then we're also going to need a kettlebell for our high pull and catch. All right. So I think that covers it for the equipment and dumbbells A dumbbell. We're going to need that as well. Okay. So to get started, let's grab our band and we're going to be a half kneeling. So <clears throat> half kneeling. Okay. So my right knee is down and my right hand is doing the rowing. Okay. So I want my hips tucked under. I'm going to feel this in the front of my quads. My core is engaged and I'm giving a good row here. Shoulders pulling back and down. Okay. And we have nine on this arm. Then we're going to switch. So I'm going to go to my left knee. My left hand is going to do the rowing. You notice my toe is tucked under to protect my knee. Okay. And you can row just palms down. You can do a little corkscrew. You can just do palms up. You can also do a neutral grip. So find whatever is most comfortable for you. So nine on each side. And then really you're going to turn around, put your whole hand in here, half kneeling again. You might want to back up just a little bit. Okay. So my right knee is down and again, I'm going to press control it. So you're really going to feel your core kick in, press it, control it back, press and control. So the knee that's down is the same arm that's doing the work. So I have nine on each side of those. And then you repeat those two exercises for 12 on each side, 15 on each side, finish that series up, put those exercises away and let's move on to some fun stuff. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to put our mini band on around just above the knees. These are going to burn. Just give you a little heads up. Okay. Just above the knees. We're going to hold a weight. Let me back up here so you can see me. I'm going to hold the weight in my right hand. Okay. Squeeze, find a focal point, And I'm going to take my left leg out to the side to work the outer side of the glute, work your hip and get a good burn on. So we have 15 on each side. So I'm going to do 15 with my left leg. And then I'm going to switch the weight over here and do 15 on the right side. So let's give this a shot. So out good toe is pointed forward. You can turn it in just slightly. Ooh, it doesn't take too many of those. Get your core engaged. Ooh, you can feel that on both sides. So we're going to switch and then we do 15 over here. Okay. So this is good stability, grip strength, balance, hip, glute, all the things. All right. So we're going to do 15 on each side of those. Take your band off and just watch your shoelaces. 
Make sure you always double check that your laces didn't come undone. Then we're going to come on over here to our step and we're gonna do suitcase style single leg step up. So what that means is the leg that's stepping is also the hand that's holding the weight. And I'm gonna do 15 on one leg and then I'm gonna switch legs, switch hands on the other side. So really pressing down, engage your core, come up with control, all right? And then when you switch, same thing, make sure we've got good knee alignment, pressing our whole foot down as if we're crushing something. Nice control, feel that in your glutes and your quads. And we're gonna set that down, we're gonna get our stretchy band, and we're gonna do some no money. So you want this on your palms, thumbs facing out, we want our elbows tucked in, we're gonna just slide our hands apart, okay? And you're gonna feel this in your shoulders, a little bit in the back, a little bit in the chest, maybe even a little bit in your core. So you have 30 of these. And then the last move we're going to do is 15 hinge high pull catch with our kettlebell. So we're gonna do a little hinge, okay? Then high elbows and catch it. And as you can see with my catch, my hands just slid down around the handles. The weight never left my hands, okay? So again, a little hinge, up, 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 slide it around and catch, okay? Show you from the front, a little hinge, a little high pull and catch, okay? So we have 15 of those. So you're gonna repeat all of those exercises for three rounds and then you go into your cool down, which as it has been for the last several videos is your one to 10 breathing. So you inhale for a count of one, exhale for a count of one. Then we repeat a little longer for two, release for two, so on and so forth until you get to 10. So there you have your fifth workout for the activities of daily living for the month of February. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we look forward to seeing you back here again soon. Bye for now.